Hello, my lovely kids. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. I have for you today a new series called My Tiny Tail. It's from Disney. Do you remember the movie Finding Nemo? Before we start the story, don't forget to subscribe in the channel, like the video, and share it with your friends so they can enjoy listening to the story. And now, if you want more tiny tale from Disney, please leave a comment telling me that you want more. And now, let the story begin. Finding Nemo Nemo, a young clownfish, just wanted to have fun. But his father, Marlin, always worried about him and did not want to let him out of his sight. One day, Nemo wanted to prove he was brave. He swam up to a dive boat and touched it. But suddenly, a diver closed in. Daddy, help me! Before Marlin could swim out to help his son, the diver captured Nemo. Marlin raced to the surface as the diver sped away. A scuba mask flew overboard and dropped into the ocean. Then the boat disappeared. Nemo! Marlin cried. He rushed to a busy thoroughfare to get help and soon collided with a regal blue tank named Dory. She told him she had seen a boat. Follow me, she said. Meanwhile, someone dropped Nemo into strange waters that had plastic plants, frightening ticky heads, and invisible walls. A group of fish soon came out of hiding. They were thrilled to meet a fish from the open sea. Nemo learned that he was in a fish tank, in a dental office. The dentist, Dr. Sherman, was planning to give Nemo as a gift to his niece, Darla. The other fish told Nemo she had shaken her last fish to death. Far away, Marlin spotted the mask that had fallen off the diver's boat. He wondered if the writing on the strap might be a clue to help him find Nemo. Then Dory remembered she could read. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney, said Dory. The pair celebrated. They knew where Nemo was. A school of moonfish showed Marlin and Dory how to get to Sydney. Out in the ocean, Marlin and Dory swam and swam until they got lost. Dory asked a blue whale for directions. Then, all of a sudden, she and Marlin were sucked into its mouth. Inside the whale, Marlin was frantic. Suddenly, the water level in the whale's mouth began to lower and it let out a loud groan. The whale spouted out the two fish. They were in Sydney Harbour. Back at the dentist's office, Nemo had a plan to escape. While Dr. Sherman was preparing Darla's present and plopped Nemo in a plastic bag, he saw Nemo floating belly up and thought he was dead. Little did he know that Nemo was faking it? Suddenly, Darla entered the room and picked up Nemo's bag. She took it, finally catapulting the little fish into the spit sink. Nemo escaped down the drain, directly to the ocean. Dory and Marlin finally found Nemo. Then Marlin realized that even though Nemo was a little fish, he was capable of doing very big things. A few weeks later, 
Marlin led Nemo to school. Nemo gave Marlin a big hug before heading off with his class. It was time for a new adventure. If you like the story and you want more of my tiny tale, Disney stories, please write in the comment below. Thank you kids, bye bye.